Welcome to the first video in a series of five demonstrating consumerization of IT and bring your own device scenarios using Configuration Manager 2012. This video will show the configuration of CM12 to deliver the application. Here you can see the CM12 console loading and to confirm you can see in the about box a CM, this is CM12 beta 2. The RTM release would be the same for the features we are looking at here. To highlight some pre-configuration work, if we look at the user collections in Assets and Compliance, we can see the user Leanne Fisher. Leanne has a primary device assigned to her. The primary device concept is a new feature in CM 2012 to associate a user with one or more devices which they regularly use. We can see Leanne's primary device is WKS1. Moving over to the software library, we intend to deploy GIMP Photoshop using two scenarios. One if they are on their primary device and the second when they are not. On the applications node, we choose to create a new application. First we need to choose the application type. GIMP uses a, a .exe so I cannot choose one of the automatic options so we'll choose to select manual. The general page allows application description information and product versioning. Having completed the general page, you will press next and move on to page two. Page two allows us to configure something called the software catalog. This is a new feature in Configuration Manager uh, 2012, which allows users to request uh, software products via a Configuration Manager website portal. In our instance we won't be using this feature so we can just move forwards. So page 3 is where it gets interesting because it allows us to, to create the different uh, deployment types that we are after. So pressing the add button I can build my first deployment type. I will choose a type of scripted installer. This allows me to supply the .exe installer for GIMP. As I'm in a second wizard, when I get through to page 3 of the second wizard, this allows me to start configuring the installation. So the first thing I choose is the source directory for the application files themselves. Having selected the source directory, I can then use the installation program to actually specify the name of the command that I need to execute including any additional command line parameters. So in this case I'll put on the forward slash very silent parameter. As you can see I could also specify uninstallation options if required. So I will go in and just actually specify the uninstallation options for removing the application. So pressing next, we can now go on to the <coughs> detection method. The detection method page allows me to put in ways that an application can be detected to see if it's already there. Uh, this is an optional step, but I'll just fill this in for example. So I'm going to do a very basic uh, check. So I'm purely going to check for the presence of the executable for the, the GIMP application. As I'm setting this up, this would not really reflect real world scenarios because I'm not taking into consideration file size, file version. So this, for example, wouldn't allow uh, an older version of GIMP to be up upgraded to a later version of GIMP. But you get the idea. On the user experience page, I can actually define if we're going to install this software per user or per computer and what the default experience the user would see if we allowed them to install the software, uh, see the software installation. Here's the important dialog box. Here's where we define uh, the relationship between the user and their primary device. You can see I've selected category. In the condition, I'm going to choose primary device. And effectively, I'm going to choose an operator of equals true. So effectively, we're going to perform this type of installation when somebody is on their primary device. And therefore, it will do a conventional application installation. I'll complete the wizard with the rest of the defaults and we have the first installation method. I've now gone through and selected add again 
This time I'm going to choose Microsoft Virtualization as application virtualization as the installation type. So I now point it to the app v folder where I can actually import the XML file which contains the sequenced version of the application. So I've already gone through the app v packaging process. I can then complete the rest of the options for the wizard. So the first set of choices are to determine the app v experience. So does it stream or does it get downloaded onto the machine? I then get back to the deployment type screen. So again, I can specify, uh, for example, user uh, category and primary device, but this time I'm saying primary device equals false. So therefore this will only install it this way on users machines which do not have, or which is not their primary device. Having completed the wizard with the rest of the defaults, I now have my two deployment uh, mechanisms. So we'll just finish off the wizard. Okay, so that's now created a new application with two different methods for deploying it. The next thing I need to do is deploy the application. So the deployment process identifies targeting and identifies distribution points. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose the All Users collection because Leanne's a member of the All Users collection, so that will ensure that Leanne gets the software targeted to her. And the second component I'm going to choose is the distribution point. So distribution points, as always within Configuration Manager, define the file repositories that workstations go to to be able to retrieve the source files. So I'm selecting my one distribution point that I have and completing that page. I then get the option of defining the application uh, as basically an install or a remove option and whether I want to make it available or optional as we used to call it or um, required which is the new name for mandatory. I'm going to accept all the default options for the scheduling uh, options and just complete the wizard. So having now completed um, the deployment wizard, the last thing I need to do is confirm that the application has been copied out to the distribution points. So within the Configuration Manager console, if I go to the monitoring pane and select deployment status and content status, we should see the GIMP go from not started to in progress to complete. So we have the yellow circle for pie chart for uh, in progress. And then when I refresh the screen, it should go green to show me that it's complete. So that concludes the configuration of con configuration manager for the purpose of deploying the application.